Welcome to my world. This is Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out and clicking on my link. We're going to declutter and organize these cabinets. We've been fall cleaning and we've been going crazy getting the fall cleaning done before fall hits so I can decorate for fall, which I'll be doing after back to school starts. If you're new, look for that subscribe word and smash on it. Thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. And if you're a regular, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to open up these cupboards. Or cabinets, whatever you call them. And at a glance, it looks pretty decent. But we're going to take everything out and check the dates. Wipe it clean if needed. When you meal plan, you need to have organized cabinets, freezers, and refrigerators in order to meal plan better and keep an itemized list of everything you have. I keep an itemized list in my phone of what's in my freezers as well as my cabinets for my meal planning purposes. We normally don't meal plan sides, but when I do casseroles or soups or stews or even spaghetti sauce, I need to know exactly what's in here. We're going to start pulling everything out and doing the bins first and then working our way down. You can zone it off four zones and then other zones as in wiping down, cleaning, categorizing, and organizing. We're going to start by taking things out of this upper right hand side of the cabinet. I'm going to take out my little tray from the Dollar Tree that houses everything for easy access. And then we're going to go through each of the canned goods and I'm going to write them down and how many we have so I can update my inventory list on my phone. I usually send myself an email and keep it in a folder. That way I have it at all times. And when I go to the supermarket, if I'm unsure on what I have of that particular item, I can refer to my inventory list and see if we have it or not. Or and if we don't, then we can pick it up. We like to stockpile on certain things especially tomatoes and different styles of tomatoes for our crockpot spaghetti sauce. We'll be doing a new video on our crockpot spaghetti sauce because I like to update them every so often because we get new viewers on a daily basis and they may not know that we do crockpot spaghetti sauce. It's very easy. My grandmother did this version of it as well as my mom and myself and my dad. And my grandmother taught me when I was 12. I also do homemade tomato sauce with real tomatoes from the garden and there are some videos in our cook with me players list in our description box all our players lists are listed for your convenience to binge watch count in each one and I'm writing down different types so I don't just write down tomatoes in a jar because there's different varieties and you won't know what you have and I already know that most of this stock is new and it's going to go to the back of the red bin from Dollar Tree. We also have a Dollar Tree hauls and Dollar Tree dinners for your convenience to check out. Five ingredients are less pantry friendly. That is what we like to do here at Let Us Eat. I wiped out the red bin as you saw and I found some cream soups and condiments snug on the side and we're going to go through and see what they are and write them down on my little pad here which is also from the Dollar Tree. We use Dollar Tree in all areas of our home from cleaning to cooking to decor to school supplies. Check out Dollar Tree because there's always something new there. Then we're going to grab my sponge and just give it a light clean. The vinyl is also from the Dollar Tree in the kitchen section. It is one of our higher end finds available at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to write down what I found some cream and mushroom soups, a cream of celery, and a ketchup, and a barbecue sauce. So this way I know that we do not need to buy these soups at the market. 
The barbecue sauce, however, will probably pick up a craft because that's what my husband prefers. When I do mom's choice night on nights he doesn't eat at home, I use the, the bullseye there from Dollar Tree once again. Not a sponsor, we're just big fans of the store and they really save my family money. Even with the quarter raise, don't shy away from it because they have been improving their products. They have larger sizes and they have better name brands. For instance, they have Goya, Hunt's, as well as Prego. They have Prego Alfredo, Prego canned sauce. They have Old El Paso, Jet Puffed Marshmallows, Betty Crocker, Wise, Utz, Hers. The list goes on and on on all the available name brands. And their cleaning products are top rated. This is an organization video, so we won't get into all the cleaning products. That'll be for another time. I'm going to get the stuff put back onto the side here, including the cream soups. And then we're going to go to the left-hand side of the upper cabinet and take everything out and repeat the process, making sure everything gets organized and cleaned up as I block you momentarily. You'll see a final view of all the work that we do within the video at the end, as well as talk about some giveaways. We do giveaways here at Let Us Eat. Now we're going to take the items out on just the shelf part first and then grab the bin. This is an awkward cabinet like everything else in the house. Big and bulky. Time for the tray. Dollar Tree are carrying these trays again, usually in the back to school section or organization section. Depends on the Dollar Tree and who's stocking them. I'll adjust the camera momentarily. Just making sure there's nothing else hidden in the corner. They go deep back and they're hard to use these cabinets. So the bins really help. Again, we're going to repeat the process. I'm going to go through all of the boxes. Anything opened or expired, we're going to discard. So you can see what I'm doing. We've got three Spanish fries. And we have a couple cans of chicken gravy. We have some beef rice, chicken rice, and stuffing. I don't need to buy stuffing until we're down to the last box and if it's on sale we'll pick it up bulk at our BJ's. I'm going to wipe out the bin like we did with the other one. They get dusty and dirty just like everything else even though they're inside of the cabinet. I'm going to put the less common used items to the back of the bin and I rotated the stock. We haven't really bought anything new so they're pretty much the same as before but the stuffing next to the Rices and then the canned gravies in the front because we use them all the time, especially on the weekends with our beef and our chicken. We have videos on whole chickens, how we cook our steaks in the air for her as well as the grill. And we're going to be doing a new steak video coming up soon because my kid's going away to college and that's the meal that they want before they go away. Accidentally banged at the stand there. I'm going to count how many peas I have and potatoes that are canned. Canned potatoes are so useful in soups, stews, and casseroles. And then I save my fresh potatoes for when we do mashed or baked. And I found another spice bottle, which I'm gonna discard because it's expired. And we have two cans of potatoes. I'm just gonna write that down and update it, crossing one off. That's expired. We're gonna discard it. Anything expired, we can remove it from the area and free up space. I found a mamlich so I don't have to buy that. And the nacho cheese sauce works really well with the mamlich if you want to do a cheesy sloppy joe. Writing everything down and then we're going to put them back in the shelf. This works really well because you're going to know what's in them and try to stay on top of it in between wiping out the little tray. These trays all came from the Dollar Tree and their kitchen section, the skinny ones sometimes found in their organizing area. These little bins work really well in this deep cabinet so they don't get pushed all the way to the back to canned goods and then they get lost in a graveyard of hot mess. So I use them religiously in these cabinets. My silver pantry shelves however I do take them off from time to time. Here's a quick close-up of the work we've done so far and put the condiments back as well as the rices and the mamlich. And we're going to move on to the bottom shelf, the left bottom side. I'm going to do the same thing and repeat the process by taking things out, categorize, write things down, 
wipe out as needed. I'm going to remove the far left ones first to see what they are. We find a lot more peas. So we have about six or seven peas. I found the fluff that went missing. I thought it was out. I'm glad we found it because I haven't been able to find it at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to get the peanut butters out. And I'm going to open them up to see which ones are open so I can put them in front in the little skinny bin so I know to use that one first. Next time I go to the Dollar Tree, I'll make a note to check the fluff to see if it's come back in. I'm just going to wipe it out, give it a little TLC. Old cabinets, I didn't put vinyl on that side. We tend to use this left lower shelf more than the other side. I'm going to go through them and open them. Those are the peanut butters, and I'm going to write down two. And I have four on my backup shelf in the other room. Which I'll be going through all those canned goods and writing them down in a separate video. And I'm going to write down how many fruit we have. we got green beans. we got cream soups. I have a t huge stock on cream soups, which is good because falls are coming faster than you think. And we're going to be doing more casseroles to cozy up with for comfort food. A cranberry that's expired. You can write down the pineapples and the peaches and the apple pie filling. Just making sure that I'm writing them in the correct place. Going through them all. And we're going to grab the sponge and wipe them out. Every time you organize and declutter, you should always wipe them out and replace them if needed. I'm just going to take a peek once again of what we have. Make sure I counted correctly. That's going to go with the peanut butter in the front, and it's pretty full in good condition. And take a peek at the other two cans. At the pie filling, I need to use that soon. I'm going to do a dessert. We haven't done one in a while. I'm going to take my small trays and finish writing things down. I'll write down the type of cans and how many whether it's fruit or a vegetable, and keeping them categorized. Writing things down is very helpful. That way you know what's in the cabinets, and you're not second-guessing yourself, wasting time looking for things or wondering what's in them. I recently did the above cabinets and did all the spices. We did all our drawers, including the junk drawers. The only cabinet we have to do is under the sink. The cabinet above the, the sink is in really great shape. It only houses glasses and colanders, so I don't need to declutter that one. I'm making sure all the cans that will go in there fit. That one doesn't fit. And then we're going to put the tray back. I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I like to line everything up so it's facing forward, like when you go to the store. Most of the stores, especially the organized stores, have all their products faced out and neatly displayed. Adjusting once again, I'm going to fill up this tray and then get it in. All the cream soups are going to go in here. Uh, I'm going to put that can towards the back of the tray and then put the tray down next to the other one. Then I'm going to line up and face out the other cans including the peanut butter. That's the open one, so it'll go first so I finish it and not open a new one. I'm going to put the fluff with it. We have jelly in the refrigerator. I have an overstock of jelly on the silver shelf. We have like one or two. I picked up some nice jelly at the Dollar Tree. They've had name brand jelly in larger sizes. The larger sizes are a huge hit with me, especially with shampoos and conditioners. They've had full sizes and they're not watered down and they have daily defense and other top rated name brands in their bathroom area. Now we're going to do the panko, take everything out. I stockpile this from the Dollar Tree. I make my meatballs with it. It works really well. Get all the canned goods out and then we'll take out the big bin there that has a lot of fruit in it and count and see how many different types of fruit I have. Putting all the information into the book and then I took care of the other skinny bin. I'm going to wipe it out, and then I'll add in some of the canned goods. Adjusting the camera first, so you can see what I'm doing. 
we have more vegetables with the panko and another cream soup that I found. So I'll have to cross off the old totals and write down a new one. Just going through them, making sure none of them are expired. I'm going to put all the peas into that skinny bin to keep them all in one place. I updated the peas, writing down panko, and I'll update the cream soup to a new number. I'm pretty pleased with everything that we have in here and knowing that I don't have to purchase anything. When we go to Walmart over the weekend with our grocery hauls, check out our grocery hauls players list. We're stocked up. Being stocked up helps you meal plan better and you can eat from your pantry rather than going to the store all the time. We go to the store weekly for things that we run low on or out of. And we'll be stocking up my kid who's moving out to go to college soon. Make sure they have a lot of their favorites in their dorm so they don't have to always run into the cafeteria at school, which is a huge food court with everything you can think of. Getting everything put back. And I'll grab that bucket in a moment. The bucket also came from the Dollar Tree. They're awesome. Holds a lot of stuff. They've been in multiple areas of my home. And when I declutter and downsize and don't use the bucket, I put it away. And then I'll repurpose it elsewhere in my home, cleaning it, giving it new life. I have a lot of applesauce because when I'm out of eggs, I use it as a substitute when I'm baking muffins and cakes and breads, as well as bananas are another great substitute. I'm going to take a look at the bin and see if it needs wiping out. A little bit of TLC goes a long way. I have some mango that my kid hasn't eaten. I'm going to see if they're interested in it. And then if not, I'm going to donate it to the senior shelter up the street. Try things different ways to, to get the correct fit and how you want to display your canned goods. And take a moment to write everything down of how many I have of each item. This is a fruit category. Only fruit is in this bin. I know I have peaches, applesauce, and an orange. And I took out the pumpkin and a couple others because they were expired. And if my kid doesn't want the oranges, I will donate them as mentioned. Making progress on this cabinet declutter and organizing project. I have everything written down so I can take time to put it to my email later. Those are cranberries. They are expired. I'm going to get rid of them. I found a couple things stowed away here. I put the sauce up in the bin. And I have a craft branch that I'll put back momentarily. I had that on my list and I can take off the craft branch because I don't need it. It's a great value. When that's empty, it'll go in my empties video. We have a new series called Walmart Empties, similar to the Dollar Tree ones, and we're going to create players lists for your convenience. Here is the after as I zoom on in to, so you can see what I've done and that we did together. Looks very good. Everything is itemized and listed of what we have. I left some sauces out because it's Wednesday and we meal plan and Wednesday's Italian night. If you're new, don't forget to smash on that subscribe word. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers and we're looking for 20 people to give out a 5 items price pack from the Dollar Tree valued at $6.25. There's a prize vault video for you to check out. Some items have been spoken for already. You must be new and subscribed to my channel. Or if you've been around for a long time, you have to be subscribed in a U.S. residence. That goes for everybody for these giveaways. The rules are in my description box down below with our social sites of where we're located all over from Pinterest to Facebook to TikTok. Please like, follow, and share us regularly. All these links are listed in the description box. It's been newly updated. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe word and tap on that bell so you'll be notified for all our videos that are upcoming. We are recording and filming daily. These videos are previously recorded. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.